Well, hello everyone, Dylan here. Happy Throwback Thursday, and the rotation leads us to a Spongebob review, and kind of my last for now, but what is next next Throwback Thursday? Well, it's gonna have to be a surprise. You'll just have to find out, and all. And today's of which is on a build a box set from 2006, of course. So, first of all, for the only build character or mini pig, whatever, to this set of which is this brick built form of plankton, of course. As you see, it's just three uh, uh, rounded brick pieces in the sand green color and a large sticker of plankton himself on it. Uh, for, which is kind of a common thing they did where it's a sticker over multiple pieces but glad of how they did in later times of either printed it on or just let it be applied on multiple different pieces there and also a couple lever pieces on top acting as his antennas of course so for the the build a box set itself is well I guess they just nailed the shaping of it. It's personal starting with the ground up like I always do. Is for the feet is done kinda of a little large for him, but although I think they they should have been a little bit shorter, like they usually oftentimes are. Or at least a little bit skinny, since they do usually oftentimes are like kind of small for him, small on him. And as the, and of course the legs, which are mostly the rounded pieces, which which are white and yellow, but of course with the usual stripe of blue and white in the center. And as for the like box chested chest area, <laughs> of which properly box chested in of this with of course being brown but cut out with some black in it acting as belt of course and also do have the, some good build for the tie of course and of course some snot used for that and as well as for his collar of course And what the mini pig versions kind of lack in are uh, yellow or white sleeves, of course, which this one kind of does. But as for the arms of which, which are all done on ratcheted joints, and don't know if you notice, is they're just the same old arm pieces as the uh, Knight's Kingdom build figure sets had, where they attach certain shield bits to them and of course the hands were oddly shaped and don't turn and of course you can firmly grasp it with either with a technic rod of any kind being a spatula or jellyfish net depending on you depending on your imagination or whatever and that's first the rest of the shaping is I think is done really good. Like, do you get a lot of the inverted jagged slopes acting as his uh, waviness, like it usually is, as it kind of like goes sideways, of course. But as but how he usually is is just like straight inwards, which I think is what they should have gone for. And as for, and of course, the mouth is done with one large sticker on a large plate, all the, and they, but they give you the option to swap it around with a different kind of one, of course. And also, cylinder piece again, and a dome piece above, making it as, as the nose. Although I think they should have added one more, making it a little bit longer, like it usually is. And also, do you get the classic space, uh, satellite dish pieces but with an eye print on it of course and also the usual lever piece is acting as eyelashes of course and, and from the back 
quite a bit of hollow space, but there's but it has a bit of a purpose, like a little space in which where you can open the mouth up, of course, and get the traditional jellyfish pieces, but in clear that you can put onto it and fling forward, and like so. Like, let me give you another better chance of that. Are well secured by that little hinge in there. Oops. Although it does kind of break off a little, since of course designs weren't very thoughtful at the time. But, anyways, for the upper part of which, which is that traditional uh, uh, printed jacket slope and keyboard uh, tile, of course, and also a printed tile over there with a lever above. Which is enough space to fit your plane, then one on two, of course. And and if you notice the few Technic gears above, is if you turn those, it makes the eyes in front and move around all googly. Which is quite nice. So for the final verdict on this, is overall, this I think a pretty cool buildable fi uh, set or buildable uh, set character set, of course, since of course you get one of the famous characters of all time, SpongeBob, of course, and of course earlier this year did the same with like the Minions, and oftentimes did the same with Olaf from Frozen and Buzz Lightyear and Zurg of Toy Story, of course. I think he, which is what this, which is what kind of started that. Hopefully, they do some more of that in the future. And of course, there's the uh, somewhat uh, UCS ones in Star Wars, and now also Hedwig from Harry Potter, of course. And if they ever get the rights to SpongeBob again, I would expect this set to be remade in that, but just in modern standards, you know, hopefully with holes in him, of course. And include some accessories like spatula, a jellyfish net, and fry cook hat, and maybe also a Krabby Patty, of course. And I guess also is jellyfishing glasses, of course. But also the a little plankton minifig, of which, which may kind of count as a minifig, but whatever. But at least I can kind of forgive it for this set for what it is. But also quite meaningful to many people, of course. And what is next, next Throwback Thursday? Well, you're just gonna have to find out. And so if you still have this set from back in the day, well, I hope you had some good memories of it. And for those of you who haven't and still have access to this, I'd say truly go ahead and get it. eBay for clink, whatever. And that's about it with this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.